Well, hello again, and welcome back. When Louise and I were discussing going full-time in an RV, we made a list of things that we wanted to accomplish while we were on the road. And one of the things that was at the top of the list was doing some volunteer work. We had no idea what we were going to do. We didn't make any hard plans about what we were going to do. And once we got about six months into our journey, we found uh, this RV, full-time RV couple on YouTube called A Year to Volunteer. They are traveling across the country doing volunteer work. So we reached out to them to see if we could uh, participate in one of their projects. And they had one that was coming up in the middle of March in Eastern Tennessee. So we signed up for that project and we're gonna take our time moving from Orlando to Limestone, Tennessee. And that's what this video is about. So I hope you'll enjoy. Leaving this place, the sun's about to break. Y'all riding shotgun. I'm just gonna drive, drive, drive. Today's moving day. We're heading north out of Orlando uh, for the first time this year and we won't be back until the end of the year, probably around October or November. So we're getting ready to go. Want to come outside?
for a much needed walk. Yeah. We were cooped up in the, the RV all day yesterday because there's a big storm that blew through. Not just all day, yesterday. It's been like three or four days. Well, it's been rainy oh, for three or four days, but yesterday was a complete washout. Yeah. I mean, well, we had tornado warnings and alerts go off. So it but was we, pretty we bad. We did walk yesterday. We squeezed it in before it got really bad, so that's a good thing. Because otherwise, oh my gosh, it's just been too much inside. Yeah, that's right, yes. We did. Yeah, we yeah, did. Yeah, we morning to get out before yep. the storm hit. But still, it's just been gloomy and rainy yeah. and cold. It's and... been cloudy the whole time we were here. But that's okay, it's not snowing. <laughs> or hailing or sleeting. And we're safe, so it's all good. This is uh, to Torea State Park. Uh, this area was decimated by Hurricane Michael in 2018. You can see that most of the trees lack a lot of branches and a lot of the tops are gone. I guess uh, one of the rangers told us that uh, 80% of the pine trees were lost in that storm in this area. Our review for this campground. The pros, there's lots of trails to hike. The campsites are really nice. Uh, the facilities are very clean. It's inexpensive to stay at $18 a night. And the laundry was very inexpensive. Some of the cons, for us, it was a little too remote. We like to have easy access to a Walmart or grocery shopping, so it's a little too remote for us. That's not the park's fault. Uh, again, the, the trees were decimated in this area. It was just sad to see all the trees that were damaged, and again, that's not really the, the fault of the park. Uh, I think the biggest thing is that it was so far from conveniences, but again, that's that's on us. We you know, we just like to be closer to groceries and uh, stores. Bottom line, will we come back here again? Probably not, unless we were traveling through the area and just needed a, a quick stopover for a night or two. Uh, it's, it's certainly worth that. I'm just going to drive, drive, drive. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Click that little bell and hit that thumbs up.